What's up, my grants? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and today is another collab challenge. Today I am doing the tertiary colors challenge, and I'm doing this challenge with Sophira Lu, which is one of my favorite YouTube artists. I love her work. It's very imaginative, and the illustration style she uses is gorgeous. I really recommend you check her out if you haven't already, and I was so excited to hear that she would like to collab with me, so I was really happy to uh, do this with her. So this collab challenge was actually quite a challenge just because I did not understand exactly what I was supposed to do at first, and I really should have communicated a little earlier to find out exactly what I was supposed to do, because I thought <laughs> that I was supposed to choose some colors from the tertiary colors on the color wheel. Now, if you don't know what the tertiary colors are, basically they are the secondary colors mixed with one of the adjacent primaries. So, for instance, yellow, green, or blue, green. Those are tertiary colors. Uh, if you don't understand what I mean by my explanation, I would really recommend going and looking up a color wheel website or something like that that could more eloquently explain it to you. <laughs> but basically, I initially just chose yellow green, blue green, and blue violet for my color scheme. And then, like two days before this was supposed to be done, I saw Safira Lu's piece, and she had used all of them, and it was gorgeous. And I just face palmed. I was like, why did I not understand that it was supposed to be all of them? It just makes a lot more sense. So <laughs> I wound up doing all of them, and I'm really happy about it. I love the way that this whole illustration turned out. The dragon has this really cool rainbow effect to it that once you see the entire piece come together, I think it makes it look really cool. And it reminds me of the Lisa Frank art style with everything rainbows and bright, bright, beautiful colors. Um, almost to the point of being too bright, but maybe not so bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. When I was a kid, I loved the Lisa Frank stuff, so this really reminds me of that art style. If you guys have not seen Sophia Lou's version or <laughs> half of the collab, I really recommend you guys check it out. And if you've never watched Sophia Lou's channel before, you are missing out. Her stuff is so so cool. My favorite stuff she does is the Mushroom Hunters series where she illustrates some of her original characters doing different things and they are mushroom hunters and uh, one character is a girl and then she has two little animal uh, sidekicks I guess that go out with her and I really really love this series that she does. I really do. And um, I found out about her when I was doing the YouTube Artists Collective and I think she still keeps up on it. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just really like her channel. I was really thankful that she uh, was willing to collaborate with me. So thank you, <laughs> Sophia Lu, for collabing with me because I am a really big fan of your channel. Uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the struggles I had with this illustration. So once I had decided to actually go ahead and use all six colors, um, after I had talked to her and realized that uh, I was doing it wrong at first, um, I decided I wanted to incorporate tulips to the illustration to add the, uh, the other three colors. So my tulip colors are the red-violet, the orange-red, or red-orange, and the yellow-orange. And so uh, I wanted to make sure that those colors were really solid, I guess, really bold, but not, um, I don't know, I didn't want them to overpower the piece. I tried to balance the uh, placement of all these tulips out across the illustration, um, and I hope it looks good. I think that it's pretty good. It's one of my favorite pieces I've done in a while, and I love the way that it's almost cell shaded but not quite. Um, it's a style of coloring that I kind of I've been doing more and more and I really like the way it looks, so I'm very happy about it. I went ahead and used the tulips because this weekend, I or last weekend, I went to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm, which is uh, up by Woodburn, Oregon, 
And it's this huge farm with just fields and fields of tulips, and not all of them were blooming this weekend, but a lot of them were, and it was gorgeous. It was so pretty. I was, it was a beautiful day, and I got to go with some of my friends, and it was a very fun trip, and I was really inspired to do tulips, so I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do that in this illustration. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing the collaboration, like I mentioned before. Um, I do also some series about my storybook that I'm working on. Uh, those will be coming up in the next few months. There will be one of those every other week, and on alternating weeks there will be collabs like this one. So if you like my channel enough to subscribe, that is the kind of content you will be getting. You'll be getting uh, collabs like this, and you'll also be getting um, storybook videos where I work on the book that I am planning on finishing by July, and I will also be giving out advice for working on children's books. So I hope that that is an interesting thing for you, and uh, if it is, I recommend you subscribe because it's a lot of fun to build a community and get to know you guys, and if you are watching me from Sophia Lou's channel, I just want to say welcome and thank you so much for coming to watch my video. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next week.